Hey everybody, Trevor Herzog here, Pioneer Agronomy Lead for Corteva AgriScience. You find me here today in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. You'll see a beautiful canola crop behind me. This is uh, a nice stand of canola that got a great start off to the season and has uh, really been off to the races. This, in fact, is where we would have one of our product knowledge plots or a PKP plot. And I can't wait for the data to come off this site. I thought I'd give a bit of a report on um, kind of the crops that I've been seeing as I've been traveling across parts of Western Canada the last three weeks. I started in Northeast Saskatchewan where um, there's a lot of fire and smoke activity going on about that point, And it was super dry in that geography. It was dry enough that, you know, when you're standing there, boy, you can really feel the heat just coming off the ground and in the air. Crops up there are suffering and uh, needing some rain. Probably since I've been there, there's been a few spots of rain. But uh, in all my travels, that would be the most challenged geography at this point in time. The northwest Saskatchewan area, looking okay, hanging in there. Got a few showers, I believe, and I expect decent crops out of that region. After that, I drove up to Edmonton Peace River country. Peace River actually hasn't had a lot of rain either, but crops are looking pretty good. Nice plant counts. Canola emergence was nice and uniform and had a great uh, Pioneer Agency touring event up there. And uh, and then I made my way down to the Edmonton area, Vegreville, Vermilion areas. Also, I would say pretty similar to the Peace. Canola crops looking good, off to a good start. Last week, I made my way into the Brandon and Winkler, Carmen area of Manitoba. And crops in their geography are looking really good. Corn and soybeans are advancing well. I would say soybeans, kind of first, maybe second trifoliate. Corn going on V4, almost V5 in some scenarios. And probably one of the nicest looking canola crops I'd seen in my travels was south of Winnipeg. Canola there was uh, extremely lush and full and getting ready to bolt and maybe flower as of probably today, to be honest. Made my way into southeast Sask. Also some great looking crops there too. Can't wait for the rest of the summer season to show us what these crops will do this year. Don't forget to ask your Pioneer agencies about P1540L at P1530G from our new Pioneer 100 series, where we expect enhanced yield performance that will compete with anything else on the market. I encourage you to talk to your Pioneer agencies about that if you haven't heard about them yet, or maybe you weren't uh, lucky enough to try the few bags that we had this year at our disposal and in our warehouses. Also, it's I'd, I'd be remiss to say, don't forget, it's June 23rd, I think, today. It's fungicide season. A crop like this behind me would be a great candidate with moisture on the ground. It's muddy out here today. Viatude fungicide will do an awesome job at maintaining the control of your sclerotinia to help maximize the illness. That's it for now. Hopefully have a great day and stay tuned. I hope to update you soon again as we go through the season. Hey.